Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shaquille and you are watching HTML Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about HTML links. So let's get started. Alright, I've opened brackets and now I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'll save it as links.html and I'll go ahead and write the following HTML. So we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag opening and closing head tag and we have set the title to links and we have the opening and closing body tag all right now i'll go ahead and open this in live preview html links or hyperlinks are text or images which can be clicked and when we click on this hyperlink it takes us to some other web page now in order to create a link in HTML, we use the anchor tag. So we have the opening and closing anchor tag and in the content, let's say we'll write dy classroom.com and in the opening anchor tag, we'll create an attribute href and we'll set the value to https https colon slash slash www.dyclassroom.com so we have created a link and now if we click on it it will take us to dyclassroom.com so this was a text link we can also create an image link so let us go ahead and create one all we have to do is create an anchor tag and inside the anchor tag, create an image tag. And we have to set the SRC attribute of the image tag to the link of the image that we want to use. In this case, I'll be using DY Classroom logo. And in the opening anchor tag, I'll set the href attribute to www.dyclassroom.com. So now we have an image which is a link and if we click on it, it will take us to dyclassroom.com. Another commonly used attribute for the anchor tag is the target attribute. It tells us where we want the linked document to open. So let us go ahead and create an anchor and let's set the content to dyclassroom.com and let us set the href to dy classroom link and now let us set the target attribute to blank so we have created a link and we have set the target attribute to underscore blank so when we are going to click on this link the browser will open the linked document in this case dyclassroom.com in a new window or a new tab so let us go ahead and click on this link and as you can see dyclassroom.com is now opened in a new separate tab we can also use the anchor tag to create section links these are the links which when clicked takes us to different section of the page. So let us go ahead and create three sample sections. So let's say we have a heading section one and let's say we have a sample paragraph 
hello world and similarly let's say we have another section section 2 and a sample paragraph and section 3 and a sample paragraph now in order to create section links we need two anchor tags the first anchor tag is used to mark the section where we want to take the user the second anchor tag is a link whose href value is set to the value of the section so this is our first section so we'll create an anchor tag and we'll set the name attribute value to let's say section 1 similarly for section 2 we'll create an anchor tag and we'll set the value of name attribute to section 2 and for the third section we'll create an anchor tag and we'll set the value of the name attribute to section 3 and now we'll create three links for the three sections so when we click on any one of the link it will take us to that respective section so let us go ahead and create a header content and now we create an anchor tag and we set the href attribute value to hash section 1 and we set the content to section 1 you can set the content value to anything so when this link is clicked it will take us to this anchor having name attribute set to section 1 similarly we'll create a link for section 2 and we'll set the href value to hash section 2 and similarly for section 3 so now we have three links and when we click on any of the link it will take us to that respective section so for example if you click on section 3 it takes us to section 3 similarly if we click on section 1 it takes us to section 1 similarly section 2 we can also use the anchor tag to create scroll to top link it is a type of section link that we create at the bottom of the page and when the user clicks on this link the user is taken back to the top of the page so let us go ahead and first create an anchor tag right after the opening body tag and we'll set the value of the name attribute for this anchor tag to let's say top and now scroll down and at the very end we'll create a link and we'll set the content to back to top and we'll set the value of the href attribute to hash top so now we have this link at the bottom of the page 
and when we click on it it will take us back to the top so let's say we clicked section 3 and we reach the bottom and now when we click on this back to top we are back at the top of the page all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial i'll post the tutorial notes on my website dyclassroom.com the link will be in the description and all the codes that we're writing in this tutorial series i will put them in my github repository the link will be in the description so please check that out and if you find this video interesting then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel because i make new videos every week all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video and like always stay happy and keep smiling bye